Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I have a Minecraft enchantment guide for you all, and this is an enchantment guide not just for one enchantment, but for two separate enchantments, fortune and looting. Both of these are the lucky enchantments in Minecraft that will improve your luck and save you a lot of time, and they're also quite rare, and both get confused a lot, and I figured for all these reasons that relate the two, I would cover them in the same video today, so we've got a double enchantment guide. And if you do like the video, I'd very much appreciate a like on it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and lets me want to see more stuff like this, but let's get straight into it, shall we? So let's Let's start with, uh, you know, the difference between the two, because like I said, some people get them mixed up, and I don't blame people, because, you know, uh, when you put fortune on a sword, you would expect that it makes you more fortunate, and that when you kill stuff, you'd get more loot. Nope, that does not work that way. Fortune is an enchantment for axes, shovels, and pickaxes. Uh, a lot of people don't know about the axes and shovels bit, but it's for tools, and looting is a, uh, you know, an enchantment for anything you're killing stuff with, mostly uh, the sword, which is the only place it will spawn naturally. So, uh, yeah, the way I like to remember this is that when you kill a mob, you get loot, and uh, when you mine a block, you don't get loot, you get fortune, I guess. I don't know. I just I just remember the loot is for mobs thing. And if you don't, if that doesn't help you, then I've got a wither skeleton skull to associate with looting for you, and an emerald block to associate with fortune. And then if I just picture those in my head, it's like, oh yeah, that's that. So yeah, that's how you uh, differentiate between the two. Uh, it's worth mentioning that even though they're both very rare enchantments, they're two of the rarest enchantments in the game. Fortune is actually slightly more common than uh, you know uh, looting is. If you enchant a diamond sword at level thirty, you have a four point five percent chance of getting looting. And if you enchant a uh, you know a, a, a level thirty uh, diamond pickaxe, you've got about a 8.2% chance of getting a uh, fortune free. So just a key difference there, just in case you want to, because, you know, get, getting them in the first place is lucky enough by itself, but this one is slightly more common than this one, and just in case that comes up anywhere, it's useful to know. I'll go more on that stat later, but let's start with looting and what it does, because looting uh, out of the two of them is, I'd argue, potentially more useful, depending on what you want to do, because it can allow you to get a lot of the really cool stuff faster. So uh, there are three things that looting does actually affect, uh, and that's, uh, you know, three types of drops, common drops, Drops, rare drops, and equip drops. So equip drops are the easiest one to explain, so we'll go into that one later, because uh, it's obviously when our stuff has stuff on. But let's start with probably the biggest effect that looting does have, which is common drops. So common drops are the drops that you get almost every single time you kill a mob. So when you kill a zombie, for instance, almost every single time you get raw flesh. When you kill a cow, almost every single time you get beef, and almost every single time you get leather. So on and so forth, you get the point when you get something pretty much every single time, it's called a common drop. And basically what the looting enchantment does is it increases the the max number of this common drop you can get. So a cow, for instance, normally it drops zero to three beef and zero to two leather. So on average, one leather, on average, 1.5 beef. Uh, the maximum number is increased by one for each level of looting. So we have a looting free sword, which means uh, it, it, it means it can drop up to six beef and up to five level, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Um, and that means the average goes up from 1.5 to three. So we kill both of these, even though before the uh, max we could get would be, uh, you know, three beef and... Uh, no, uh, max we could get would be uh, six beef and uh, four leather total. Now we've got <laughs> seven leather and six raw beef, which is, you know, six is what we could technically get before. But seven leather, we couldn't have even dreamed of that before. Now we just got it just like that. Pretty cool like that. So, yeah, that's uh, the common drops right there. They're pretty awesome. So, obviously, I don't need to explain. With chickens, you'll get more feathers. And uh, with pigs, you'll get more pork chops. I'll go into that a little bit more later because I want to show you a quick example that you can do of it. But first of all, let's just explain, explain the second type of drop, which is rare drops. So, rare drops are something you might not know about because they're quite rare by default and they are reasonably new. Uh, they only came in with title update 14, I believe. But basically, whenever you kill a mob, you've got a slight chance of getting a rare drop. This is only for certain mobs, the zombie, the wither skeleton, and a couple more. But basically, when you kill a zombie, you've got a 2.5% chance of getting either a potato, an iron ingot, or a carrot. And this was to allow people with older worlds to get potatoes and carrots, which I think is quite cool, and also to get iron ingots. Basically, uh, what looting does to this is it adds 1% per level. So it's 2.5% normally, which is 1 in 40 kills. This is also the number for wither skeleton skulls. Every Every single level you put on there increases it by 1%, and then when you put looting free on, it increases it by 3%. And at first, this doesn't seem like too big a deal, because 3% more, is that really too important? Like, oh, 3% bigger, that's so important. But you've got to remember, this is in absolute terms, not relative terms. So this means 5.5% chance of getting an iron ingot from a zombie. This means a 5.5% chance of getting a wither skeleton skull. And this means uh, if you want to fight the wither, you need three wither skeleton skulls. This decreases the average number you need to kill from 120, you know, 40 per skull, to less than 50... Uh, uh, like seven, I think it is. I, I, the exact number is like 55.1 or something, but it, it, it more than half the number you need to kill, which means if you're looking for a specific red drop, looting is the sword for you. So uh, I'm just going to kill actually a bunch of zombies right now. So actually, we just put, put a bunch of them in the hole together. 
we might just end up with something here. And yeah, that's that. So uh, while we uh, try and get a rare drop just to show this, also we'll end up with a bunch of wrong flesh because that's how that works. Uh, basically, uh, let's talk about equip drop, uh, equipped items because they also have a slight increase, but it's not as big a deal as with the uh, the other things because uh, w when a zombie spawns an equipped item, you have a 8.5% chance of getting it. So when you see a zombie spawn with full diamond armor, although that zombie's intimidating and you know you should probably be scared of it, it, it does mean that you actually have a chance of being able to pick it up. And by default, it's just 8.5%, which... You know, that's about 1 in 11. It's a very bizarre fraction, uh, 17 two hundredths. But if you put uh, every level of uh, looting you put on, increase it by 1%. Again, not the biggest of deal, because even with a looting free sword, which should give you really good odds, you'll still only have a, uh, you know, 10.5% chance. But that does mean that, you know, diamond armor, you'll get, you know, nine times, at, one, one time out of nine instead of one time out of 11, which is pretty important and pretty big deal. So, um, because we haven't been this chunk too much, none of them spawned armor on, but you get the point. We could get some uh, iron ingots easier. We could get any spawned armor easier. And we could get potatoes and carrots and stuff like that. So, yeah, the bi the biggest thing I'd recommend using looting for is to get, you know, uh, Wither Skeleton Skulls from uh, Wither Skeletons, because like I said, that's a key part of the game, and it saves you 60 kills on average just by having the sword as you do it. I definitely recommend it, and that's probably its biggest use, to be honest, but its second cool use is that you don't actually have to use the sword to get the looting effect, and you might be like, so you can't, of course you have to use the sword to get the looting effect, that's kind of how enchantments work. But the thing is, the, uh, the way the looting effect works, because it's coded very bizarrely, is it's actually coded to, uh, you know, give you the looting drops if you're holding the looting sword when the mob dies. Not if you do the damage with the looting sword, if you're holding it when it dies. And again, you might think, Toy Cat, of course you're going to be holding it when it dies. But this means that if you use a bow or you use any slow effects to kill something, then as long as you're holding the sword when it hits it, you'll be fine. So I'm going to fire some arrows in the air and hope one of these hits the pig, I guess. So just fire those in the air. Then we pull out the sword of looting and you'll see as long as one of these actually hits something in there, which it isn't <laughs> going to, because we got unlucky. Again, I, I, we just got to fire them in the air and just hope. I, we, we could do it at closer range, but it's a little more risky. Okay, we'll just do that instead. So we fight this chicken, then then quickly switch. Um, so we just uh, let go and then quickly switch. Okay, we, if, if you do it just right, what you can actually end up doing is, uh, there we go. Okay, that proved it right there. As you can see, we killed a single pig and we got three pork chops. Usually they drop to zero to two, I believe, and that means just by, you know, using this looting sword, we got the extra one. It's a lot harder to do when you're not just doing it in the air like this, but the bigger use, uh, the biggest use for this, if you want to use it, is probably for stuff like, uh, you know, killing a ghast, because if you want to kill a ghast, you know, you can switch out the, 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 you know, the sword with a reasonable amount of time that doesn't require you to do this, and yeah, it's just, it's, just, it's a cool little fact. It means if you kill with fire damage, you kill with all these different sources, you can actually, uh, you know, end up, uh, <laughs> I'm so bad at aiming at something just in front of me uh, with the air it seems uh, but yeah basically you'll get uh, much better drops by having the looting sword out when you kill something not necessarily by having the looting sword out and killing it with it it's it's a fun little uh, you know little technicality but it is quite useful if you want to save the sword because you could have a second sword and you can do lots of cool stuff like that so yeah that's uh, looting let's move on to fortune so fortune like I said is the enchantment you get for axes you get for shovels and that you get for pickaxes so if you're going to get this on a book and put on something I very much recommend the pickaxe because there's a lot of things the pickaxe can get that the other ones can't but there's pretty much nothing the other things can get but the pickaxe can't so uh yeah let's start with the most obvious things because it is on a pickaxe when you mine uh you know lapis lazuli when you mine car when you mine uh redstone and when you mine emerald your odds of getting you know a multiplied drop is increased massively so at uh, fortune one you'll get a 20 percent chance for double at, at fortune two you get a 20 percent chance for double and a 20% chance for triple on top of that and when you have level 3 it's a 20% chance for double 20% chance for triple and a 20% chance for quadruple so this means that even at level 3 you can still end up with your regular drop but you're just likely to get 2, 3 or 4 times your regular loot which means when we mine this coal block we okay that's free coal I think when you mine the redstone block we get quite a lot and basically uh, you know on lapis lazuli this means you get an insane amount and for blocks like emerald where you only get a few it's pretty cool but the biggest use isn't just uh, these four ores or these ones which are always exceptions to everything uh, you won't get more for these because they don't actually spawn ores but the coolest example for this and the biggest use that you might have seen in my video where I got 100 diamonds in something like uh, 60 seconds basically if you have diamonds uh, what it's recommended to do is you get silk touch take them out of the ground and then when you get a fortune pickaxe mine them then because every single diamond is actually worth 2.5 diamonds on average that's right if, uh, once you average up all the percentage chance you you get about 2.4 diamonds per block or about two and a half you want to round up which means that you know those four diamond blocks gave me nine diamonds which is pretty crazy when you think about it uh if you, if you get really lucky, you can make it so that instead of just getting, you know, like uh, four diamonds or whatever, you can, uh, sorry, instead of getting 2.5 diamonds, you can get four diamonds every single time, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. But, you know, uh, Fortune isn't just for, you know, ores, although that is one of its cooler uses. It actually can be used for farming in a bunch
bunch of ways too. And the Glowstone. So Glowstone um, and uh, Melons actually both have an interesting cap that no other lock has, where basically Glowstone, no matter how fortuned up you get, uh, you can only get a maximum of four Glowstone per block because four Glowstone dust makes a Glowstone. So when you mine it, you get four Glowstone. Same goes for Melons, no matter what you use, no matter what level of fortune, etc. You can get a maximum of nine Melons, which is just an interesting little side effect because that's how many it takes to make a thing. Uh, but yeah, Fortune will actually work on a bunch of things too. It works on crops and it works on Never Wards. So if we switch out to this shovel, I can show you a really cool fact. So it's worth uh, having around like a bro almost broken pickaxe or just something around your farm if you want to get a lot more potatoes or carrots. Because basically, if you use a uh, you know, fortune tool, even though it doesn't take durability to mine a crop, like you see right here, you actually get a massively increased amount, or at least a chance of increased amount. So when we mine these potatoes, as you can see, we get more potatoes than only. When we mine the carrots, again, the same thing can happen. And the really interesting thing about uh, wheat is, although you don't get more wheat, you get a bunch more seeds if you use fortune. Again, there's there's no particular reason, it's just one of the weirdest seeds. Uh, these are both very weird enchantments that I think, you know, were coded in a specific way and then kind of left that way. Uh, but it does mean the oddity about this is that you should have a specific tool used for harvesting your things and just make sure you don't mine blocks of it and this will last forever. That's right, you can just have a fortune stick that doesn't do anything except mine your crops and it will get you a bunch more stuff. So yeah, uh, definitely useful for carrots and potatoes. Everything else, not really so much, like never warts, do you need so many? Maybe not. Uh, even carrots and potatoes, you can argue you can have enough of them anyway. But if you want to just get more for your buck, you know, more bang for your buck or whatever, you can use a, uh, you know, a fortune tool and just leave it that way. So yeah, let's throw this away now because we, we don't need it anymore. And uh, yeah, let's kind of summarize the end of uh, fortune and looting. So yeah, fortune is a great enchantment that can be gotten on, uh, you know, a bunch of different tools. It is pretty useful for all these different things. Uh, the one I didn't mention because it's such a tiny amount is it'll increase your chances of getting apple from uh, oak leaves. But if you really want to increase it, that tiniest of tiny amounts, you can do that. Um, if you want to, uh, so if you want to get a, if you want to get more from what you're farming, because it's mostly just if you want to get more diamonds from something, you can do that. Um, that's what fortune's all about. So then we've got looting, and the idea behind looting is that you can get more stuff from your drops. You can kill it with a skeleton, have a better chance of killing the skull. You can kill, uh, you know, you can kill a zombie, have a better chance of getting iron, and that's pretty awesome if you ask me. So yeah, that is the uh, kind of summary of both these things. Just to finish up with how you get both of them, if you go for a book, these are the lowest odds things you can get. Even because uh, bas basically, uh, as a fun little uh, side fact here, the, the the interesting really thing about both these enchantments is they both basically the optimum level would be above level thirty. If you could make level thirty five enchantments, both of these enchantments would be a bit easier to get. But because we have a maximum level of thirty, it means if you want to get a level third, if you want to get a fortune free book or a, fort a looting free book they're both less than one percent chance even at level 30 which means if you enchant 100 books you're still not guaranteed to get a fortune and a looting you're, you might get one or the other but if you want one specific one you're not going to get it which is kind of crazy when you think about it that's 3,000 levels if you want to get these in a book which means if you want looting on a bow for instance it's going to be pretty tricky so just bear this in mind when you're going for that on a uh, like i mentioned on a uh, tool uh, fortune has an eight percent chance and looting has a 4.5 percent chance so still we're talking 20 20 like two enchanted diamond swords or like something like you know 15 enchanted diamond pickaxes that's a lot to go through but it's a necessary sacrifice for you know enchantments like i said they improve your luck and save you time what's not to love and that's uh, how i'll end this video so i hope you did all enjoy it let me know if you want to see more enchantment guides because you know i know to some people it's like everything in this video is obvious but hopefully i taught you at least one new thing you didn't know if i did i'd very much appreciate a like on the video uh, share it if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here i make videos like this every single day on my channel and if subscribed you'll see them daily on your homepage. thank you you for watching and goodbye.